something i hope y'all doing good just like i am doing good i'm still a little sick so i'm still a little auto-tuned but i'll be fine for now for today i honestly don't know what happened everything was going good until i started squatting and feeling like shit I feel like i was overtrained got to start questioning myself did i get enough sleep did i not warmed up correctly did i not stretch enough was the meal i ate wasn't filling the weights felt heavier even though I was moving them with ease. I must be under recovered even though my last leg day was on Wednesday. My body feels like shit. I can move the weight but my endurance isn't up to par. I've talked about this before. If you get your heart rate too high you'll end up throwing up or in worse conditions. I've reached this point many times. I guess it was just one of those days, hit or miss. However. Me stopping to rest, end up working out for the best. I skipped one exercise, but I was able to hit the rest of the workout. For educational purposes, next time I'll go above and beyond. I can't guarantee you I'll finish that workout though. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta know when to take a step back or else you might end up taking more. You'll know your body better than anyone else. This is what I felt at the time. I was fatigued, out of breath. I felt very sensitive to light, as if things were brighter than what they should be, and I also felt like I was about to pass out. The workout is posted in the description, but it is a leg, shoulder, and tricep workout. So next, we went to Arnold Press after squatting. My posterior chain at this time is shocked due to high bar squatting. Even though they are shocked and on fire, my mental state of mind felt great. If I would have hit the goblet squats, I most definitely was going to pass out. If you ever felt some way, take a 10 to 15 minute break. Sit down and just chill out. Take deep breaths. Drink water. Once you're back to normal, let's get back in the zone. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Have you ever reached this point or over? Let me know in the comments. I'm having more topics available soon. New equipment is coming for sure. What would you rather watch? A mixture of things, vlogs, or food challenges? Let's get creative. I hope you have a good one. Stay tuned for a special clip in the end. And remember, sleep, eat, and hydrate. Thank you, and stay tuned.
All right, we at the spot. I'm about to pick up some food and uh, stay tuned. In the Scarface room, Brian. Sh show him real quick what we're working with right here. Half a pound. World's hottest wings. World's hottest wings. What, is, what are they called? Carolina Reaper. Carolina Re Reaper. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> well, I don't know what the fuck I just got myself into, but uh, about to find out. Apparently, he gave me a disclaimer that uh, after I eat one or two, I should really like use a fork or like some gloves or some shit. Just because whatever I might touch, uh, I might end up burning my, my fucking sack off or, you know, my fucking lips will catch on fire, but I ain't, I ain't got no fork. I got this, so improvise. Let's, let's see how this goes. Yeah, we, we ain't got no gloves. We just gonna go boss to the walls with this for uh, Got, you know, our waters right here. Uh, a little bit of First one. Ready? No. Fuck it. <laughs> All right. Ah, I think I got it. Those little tiny balls, tiny puffs. No napkins, no gloves, no. Works. Oh man. Oh man. These things with these. Once you stop. Oh yeah, once you stop. They'll get to your ass. No gloves. Tell y'all what, it's not the hottest shit I tried though. I barely got my ears. Just, just right here, just on fire. Barely. I Man, back then I had tried. Hold up. I remember back then I had tried some shit. Got everything on fire. My ears, my eyes, my nose, my stomach. I was crying. The funny thing is, I didn't even take a bite of it. I just put it in my mouth. Too fucking hot. Man. But I ain't gonna lie to you. This shit was pretty hot. But shit. 